Hello guys, and welcome to part 3 of White Knight Chronicles. Let's play. Thingy. I'm awake at 1 o'clock in the morning. Give me a break. Okay, so, first of all, the probably most unusual thing you'll notice is that Matt and Leonard are level 3 now. Uh, well, I was messing around with some stuff, and when I left the menu, it turns out that some Vespids ended up following Rouse. So I had to kill them, and that ended up leveling them up. Eh, not that big of a deal, because you'll see that soon Leonard's going to be getting a little bit ahead in levels. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, first of all, actually, let me get into this menu. Uh, first of all, I kind of cleaned out the inventories, uh, because your avatar starts with every single basic weapon. Which actually turns out that I gave Leonard the starting axe. Uh, so I... I've rearranged Leonard's commands to have all of his act commands instead. And he now has an axe equipped. Uh, I also fixed my OCD and I moved Yuli's heel. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, pretty much all I did was inventory management and then kill those Vespids. Uh, trying to think off the top of my head if I did anything else, because I did have to spend a few minutes between that doing some other stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think we are ready for Cutscene Palooza! It's part one all over again. So let's get out of this menu. You can see Leonard's nice new axe there, looking spiffy like a freaking executioner. Uh, there's Rouse just chilling, and there's the star. So I guess I'll just sit here and be quiet. Bye guys, I'll see you later. Shut up, Rouse. It's way past dark. I told Rapacha we'd be back before sunset. I am dead. Ugh. Well, moaning about it isn't going to speed us up. My sincerest apologies, Chief. Are you tired? We're almost there, buddy. Something's going on. Oh, I just love festivities. Wonders of plenty and sights unlike any. Sorry, folks. The castle delivery comes first. Who are you then? Rapachi Wine, sir. We're here to deliver tonight's wine. All right, we've been expecting you, though you were supposed to be here hours ago. Where the hell have you been? Merchants shouldn't keep the castle waiting. Well, you see, we were attacked by a monster on the way to the warehouse and... Stop the excuses and get that wine inside now. Yes, sir. We at Rapachi Wines look forward to serving you again. Jerks. Have a heart. Sure, I'll serve them again. If it's a boot in the face. Good evening, ma'am. Here's your wine order. Thank you, lad. This will do fine. Right. We'll be off then. What are you 
doing? You can't go in there. What's wrong with one quick peek? Oh dear, Miss Yuli, Chief. Oh, 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 what am I, luggage? Princess. <laughs> Leonard, what you doing? Hmm? Hmm. It's rude to stare at royalty, you know. So they found it too. Well, that escalated quickly. 
My noble friends, I thank you all for coming here to celebrate this special day with my daughter. How proud the late queen would be. It has been 10 years since my beloved wife was lost to me. Today, the daughter she gave me, my dearest Cisna, celebrates her 18th birthday. The kindness you have shown her has made this day possible. For that you have my deepest gratitude. Please enjoy the evening's festivities. Glory to Balindor! Glory to Balindor! That's weird. Doesn't she look kind of sad to you? You think so? Well, no. They say she hasn't spoken for ten whole years. Not since the queen was killed. You know, when Faria attacked the castle. Sista saw that? A message. This is a celebration. What the devil is it? Uh, the town. A terrible monster has attacked. Killing. A monster? Let them any closer to the king! Ha! Sisna, quickly, this way. Hurry, quickly! Huh? How did you...
come on. We have to go or they'll kill you. My father! Quick, this way. What? This way. Your Excellency, Archduke Dalam. Gods, I can't believe it. Damn, this was a mistake. Our pace just died with him. Your Grace, Sir Cyrus. The king! What about him? <gasps> Come on. I won't let them get you. Not you. Who are you? I'm Leonard. Well, it's just, I care about you, you know? What? Uh, I mean, we all do. Care about you, I mean. Your kingdom loves and needs you. Survivors, this way to the cellars. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Go. And welcome to Beneath Ballandor. <laughs> Time for more cutscene. Not this way. Sorry, we don't have a choice. Well, that was a thing. So yeah, that, that escalated quickly. I, I told you in the last episode, it was going to get very plot-heavy. I wasn't lying. So, Balandor has been invaded by an unknown enemy. And Sisna's father is dead. On the bright side, he's talking again. Yeah. So, we now have Magi who are the unknown warriors that have attacked Balandor under the guise of musicians and circus folk. For one thing, the music is loud in my ear. I have to take one of my headphones out. Okay. So, Cisna is going to... Cisna is going to follow us as a substitute companion, though sh she will not fight. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, she's just going to stand there and cower. So she's pretty much as useful as Cross was. Uh, so this is literally just a straight shot. Uh, also, this is going to be a long episode because of that cutscene. I want to at least have some gameplay. Uh, and in this chest, we have a heal potion. Uh, this, this route's really straightforward. Uh, and this is after... I'm recording this after I have already done the first two parts, so 
I know already that I can't do the enemy bios in the middle of the video because of how my editing program works. I can't place anything directly in the middle of the video. So, the enemy bios for these enemies are going to be at the end. Uh, I also... I was stupid in my way of getting the enemy pictures for these enemies, so that's going to be done a lot better from now on. Uh, after, after I already go through with all the enemies I've already captured, the video, not the videos, the uh, pictures for the enemy bios should work a lot better. Also, I'm never going to use these seal potions, so I'm going to do them now. Uh, the Lee Ballandor, I will admit, is a very beautiful area. Uh, you have... It's literally just a straight tunnel down beneath the castle, and you have these waterfalls just randomly falling down. And it genuinely looks beautiful. Although, I'm amazed that all these torches stay lit, considering... The fact that Cisna doesn't want you to come down here means that people don't normally come down here. Uh, so... You can obviously see that a lot of it is very broken. But these torches, hell, they stay lit. And also these weird blue things in the center of the platforms. It's like a it's castle kind of wearing high castle. heels. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, Leonard. Well, I'm sure that they're probably not called high heels, but... What do I know about fashion? As somebody who... Well, I grew up with sisters, but I never really cared about what the hell they wore. Leonard, stop moving. Stop messing. I keep fumbling over my words. Why am I such a canaditer when it comes to commentating? It should not be this hard. I talk to myself anyway. Okay. And in here is another heal potion. Princess, this way. Yeah. This is the area where Leonard would get a level up pretty much if you didn't already. Because, ow, I'm, this, this hurts a lot. Might have been a good idea to. That's one I already weakened. Might have been a good idea just to keep the sword for the extra defense because of the shield, but whatever. I'm sticking with my decision and I don't care. And I have no more mana, so I can't really use the more upgraded versions of my moves, but whatever. Basic moves work just fine. Uh, and as you'll see in the enemy bios after this video, these guys have no weaknesses, so just use whatever. Oh, yep, and there's another level up. Let's see? Like, Leonard's going to get a level or two ahead of your party. Nothing really you can do about that. Because how this game works is that it's similar to Final Fantasy X, where only the... Uh, members of the party who are actually participate in the battle actually... Uh, get experience. So, since none of my party members are here, uh, they don't get anything from it. It's also going to mean that later on, when we get more than three allies, it's going to be very interesting level-wise. I'm going to have to pick out a team that I want. I might go with my usual team, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'll decide on that later as we get closer to getting to that issue. Actually, wait, no. We're going to be very close to that issue after this, because we're going to have four party members. Because of that mysterious swordsman that helped Yuli and your avatar. And Leonard. Where do you stand? I wonder who he could be. And he definitely very strange powers, considering he was able to a Jedi mind trick the guard in the first episode. We'll get to learn more about him later. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, Come on. We have to move. Let me heal real quick. Uh, I might give... Nah. 
Never mind. I was debating about giving Leonard a heal move, but... Eh. I don't think it's really needed. I'm doing well enough with the potions for right now. And after this, we're going to have Yuli again, so... I don't think he really needs it for right now. Uh, Yuli is definitely going to be a permanent member of my party because of how useful she is. Okay. Now how about a break? Uh, let's see. That's everything, I believe. And here is the next save point. Uh, let me prepare. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but so sometimes, not every time, but sometimes when you go to a save stone or a logic stone, whatever, uh, it will automatically heal you. I'm not sure why it does it, but it, whatever, can't really complain. Uh, so yeah, that's repaired. And down that corridor is, well, the boss. <laughs> yeah, lots of close boss encounters. So, I'm actually going to end this here because this episode long enough and two, I would like the boss to have its own episode. So, in the next part, we are going to fight the bosses <laughs> of Beneath Balandor. See you guys later. Bye.